Welcome to Rachel Uncensored, the only place on the internet you can find an uncensored version of me. Hi, I'm Rachel Ballinger, and I'm here with my best friend, Joy Woodmancy. Hello. Let's change your last name. Yes. What should we name it to? What should we name it to? <laughs> change Shut it up. to? What Shut should we up. change it to? We are so tired. What should we name it to? What should we named it to? Hmm. Mm. What should we name? Question of the day. What should we change your last name to? Joy. Are you going like stripper name or like elegant or what are you doing? What's like, your brain? Like when you hear that name, yeah, she, she sounds like she's probably famous. Who's that? Like what movie oh, was she in? Oh, okay. Um, Joy. R- I, for some reason, I just wanted to say Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo? Joy Ronaldo? That's terrible. No. That's terrible. It's a terrible stage name. Joy. Joy. Woods, you could just go Joy Woodsy. Johnson. Joy Johnson? It's got to be like a double J, I feel like. Oh, I was going to say Joy Woodsy. Yeah. Like just kind of make a spin on your last Joy name. Joy Woodsy. My, um, Joy Smith. My biological last name would have been Jackson. Joy Jackson? Yeah. <gasps> That's a Joy good Jackson. one. Yeah. Just call Not me bad. Joy Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never, Never meant, meant to make your doctor cry. cry. I apologize a trillion times. times. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Jackson. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That was good. That was great. Yeah, that was so good. I am here today with Joy Jackson. I I dig that. Yeah, you like that? It's I'm, nice. I'm I'm gonna stick it's with that. Bad. It's, it's a pretty bad. good one. Yeah. It's not bad. And it is it would Call have, me JJ for short. <gasps> JJ? Yeah. <laughs> what would your would that be your uh, your DJ name? We were trying to come up with my DJ name. Yeah. Cause we hate where we live. All of the DJs, anywhere there's a, a good bar has a crappy DJ. Yeah. And the places with good DJs are like crappy not bars. the safest. Did I tell you that? Not the safe. Yeah. We, I told you about the bar fight, right? Yeah, you were there. The one I was there you for. You were there. <laughs> I was like, why did I the not tell you? The one I was Joy? hiding behind you for? Yes. Yes, you were hiding behind <laughs> me in the bar fight. So the, we, there's a few bars that we like to hang out with. The vibe is right for us. But the... DJs are just these hipster dudes that just play music for themselves, mm-hmm. and no one is dancing. No one. No one is dancing on the dance you floor. Might, you might come across one song that gets people moving for about 20 seconds. And then they switch it. Then it and it changes to something that makes no sense with the song you were just playing. And, there's, and then, the, when you're a DJ, there should never be a moment of silence unless it's to wait for a beat to drop. Yeah, there are a lot of moments of silences, too, where like, people just look up. What is happening? They're just switching songs. Bro, no. You yeah. don't, you can't go like end of song, wait five seconds <laughs> and then play a new one. Yeah, we need a change. You have to, you have to make it glide. Mm-mm. You yeah. have to do a it transition. It has to be so smooth that it goes from like everyone's singing the words to like, whoa, and like, like they, just they don't even realize a next, different song is exactly, on. Exactly, exactly. So I decided the other night that I want to become a DJ just so I can DJ for my friends. That would be awesome. And uh, we were trying to come up with my DJ name. And one of our friends said, reggae. And like, uh, and, but then Abby was like, but she's not going to play reggae music. Exactly. And yeah. so Abby said, DJ Ray Ray. DJ Ray Ray. That's and I was bad. like, that's not bad. But I, not bad. I want it to be a little bit better. Mm. Like DJ Baller. I like I like our baller, baller. Yeah, our baller. Um, I like our baller. No, DJ, DJ our baller. baller. Wah, wah, wah. See, I'd be a DJ really our good baller DJ. in the house. DJ our baller in the house. Wah, 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 wah. You gotta like, yeah. You gotta see how it'll sound. Yeah, <laughs> I would make all my own. I wouldn't even have a mixer. I would just be up there with a microphone. You're just out there making random noises. <laughs> beep, beep. But then low key start putting it in, like yes. make it really it would hard. Be yeah, good. That would- so uh, basically, long story short, I'm switching careers to be a local <laughs> DJ where I will make 200 a night once a week. Fast forward to six m- months from now. You remember the time I said I was going to be a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to be a DJ, you guys. Or fast forward six months from now, I'm like alongside Polly D. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> like, I was gonna say, do you have any friends that are DJs? Maybe they can give uh, you the inside scoop. Abby knows some. Oh. But- I don't know. I don't. Just get a little idea, a little yeah. taste. Like, show me how to use the board. Oh, yeah. Lucy's one. Lucy knows how to DJ. There you go. Of course she does. Just get a little idea of what it's like. Yeah. If I just like, I, I feel like there's so many buttons. 
There are a lot of buttons. There's a lot of buttons. There's a lot of things you can do. I think I would just buy all that stuff and then just make a really cool playlist on Spotify and hit it, plug in an aux cord and just go I from feel, there. I feel like there's got to be certain things you have to abide by because of copyright with music and your Not own if business. you're a DJ you don't in, like think a so? in a club. I don't think so. Mm. I feel like in a club, you're fine. If you were trying to put it, my mixes on Spotify, yeah. then there's copyright Because I always thought that's why they only play certain clips or a certain amount of things and they have to put their own like mix into it because I thought there was some sort of, because they're making money off of playing like other people's songs. So I thought there was some sort of well, copyright. Well, that's the same as like if you just, just go to a assuming. bar and it's like on, like the bar's just playing like the radio or just yeah, playing Spotify. Yeah, I guess, I guess. I mean, I think maybe if you go to a festival, that's different. Maybe. Like you have to have your own mixes. I don't know. I don't know why I thought that. I mean, you might be right. I might be very wrong. I was like, should we look it up real quick just to see? I mean, yeah. Say like, what do what we even can ask DJs? Google? Can DJs play whatever songs they want? Or like, are there copyright laws when it comes to being a DJ? That is a really long thing to Google. Are there copyright laws when it comes to being a DJ? Let's find out. You think I type my things? I never voice to text. While in a public setting, a DJ license is always required as long as someone else's copyright music is performed. If a, per if a performance is intended for a private audience, no permission is necessary. So if it's for a public audience, there, there are copyright. From okay, so I'm thinking a private, like a bar hiring someone for a, is a bar hiring a DJ private or is that public? Maybe private because that would be private property, right? Because it's the yeah. bars. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh, when I think private, I'm thinking like a um, wedding or something. Yeah, that's the thing. Weddings are fine. Yeah. But a DJ license, so I just have to have a license? Yeah, I guess so. I have a license to drive. If you want to use copyrighted music, you must obtain the necessary permissions or license. So I, so I guess, and all music is just. Guys, here's the thing. I don't think I'm actually going to become a DJ, but. I just want to make do, sure you don't get sued. You know? I don't think I'm going to get to the point <laughs> where yeah, I'd actually playing, be. just playing for friends. Yeah, I'm just playing for friends. I just want to do it in my living room at this point. Anyway, DJ R Baller. Yes. DJ Miss R Baller. Or just tell us what you think. Maybe. Maybe yeah, what should my DJ yeah, name maybe be? Maybe somebody will come up with something really I, dope. I liked the pun reggae, but I, I wouldn't do, be playing reggae music. But it doesn't make sense if you're not playing reggae music. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm, taking, I'm, I'm playing the girly pop booty shaking music for the girls, the gays, and the days. Yeah. I'm playing Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Meg the Stallion. And then you take it back every once in a while to like the 90s and 2000s. Oh, yeah. You got to play the classics. Right. But mix it a little bit with the, right. with the now. Right. Who is the other person? What's the one? The Mean Girls. What's her name? Gay woman. Who? She. Do, Renee Rapp. Oh. I could not think of her name just now. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Those are the people I'd be playing. Um, uh, give me your, your intro, though. What song would you start with? Oh, I, haven't th I haven't thought this you haven't far thought in advance. Oh. On the spot, just let's just see. Do you have the natural raw talent on the on the oh, spot? Well, what, what's the, the thing song is, you're entering with? Well, that's the thing. Is the dance floor already packed? Am I replacing a DJ, or am I coming in when there's no, no you're, one you're, on the dance I'll floor? I'll set the scene for you. I set the scene. Set, set the, the scene. scene. So it's like it's like one of the bars downtown, like saloon, right? Yeah, but yeah. all your friends are there, but we also have like the normal crowd that get drawn in, right? Okay. And like you're just about to walk out, and they're like, "Yo, we have a new DJ tonight." So it's wait, is everyone on the dance floor already? Yeah, already. Oh, like then you gotta go like, in strong. Some people are like buying drinks and you know, like, see, if there's if there's no one on the dance floor, you have to slowly. But coax you already them know in. if you're coming out and all your friends are there, like we're at least on the dance oh, floor. Oh, um, and then <sighs> you come out and you're just hitting I don't know. with this one song at first. I don't think I want to hit with the best song first. No, it has to be a good intro song. Though. It has to do one of maybe, those ones that you know your friends know, but probably people in the bar I are gonna think know too. I hit it. With a Britney Spears song first. Yeah, probably. Just really set the vibe like, strong. Like, just hit it with, it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> and then just fucking go. And the beat drops. Yeah. And it's not even her song. Or it could be that song. But like, intro with, because yeah. Britney Spears has really good intros to her songs. It, it's Britney, bitch. Woo, all these yeah. things. Like, from the or taste it's like, of your oh, lips. Or it's like, oh, baby, baby, yeah, exactly. bow, boom. And then something else. Just all these quick little, like, <laughs> clips of things. Yes. That would be crazy. And then it just, it pops in. And I hate, how, why is this this episode? I love it. I hate when DJs only stay in a song for 12 seconds. Yeah. Because you're like, finally, a song I know, you start dancing and then immediately switch. Play the chorus, play the play, bridge, play like the best one part. One verse and then go. Yeah. Like you got to give people 
30 yeah. to 45 seconds. And every once in a while, like every 10 minutes, you got to play one good song like all the way through almost. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then you like slowly start, slowly start mixing into something yeah. else. People love when they can hear another song coming. Yeah. And like, that's awesome. I hate it when you hear that and, and it doesn't come. It. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's messed up. That's really not cool. So this was my announcement for my career change. Um, I'm going to become a local DJ. <laughs> you guys can come up with my name and I'm just going to play Britney Spears basically. Yeah. Perfect. That's it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my God. All right. What I actually have planned for today is I asked you guys on Instagram to make assumptions about me. What are your assumptions about me? People do this often, but I'm going to have joy here as someone to keep me truthful because sometimes you're unaware of your own things. Okay. Like someone's like, my assumption about you is, is you're stubborn. I'm like, I'm not stubborn. And you go, well, there's the thing is you are. <laughs> so Here's this thing called a dictionary that you open up. And when you find the word stubborn in the S section, you will see a definition that says Rachel Ballinger. <laughs> I, no, I go in defending myself. <laughs> I feel as though my stubbornness is... For good reason. I'm never like, I don't want to do it. Totally valid. I'm never like, uh, no, but I don't want to talk about that. But stupid. the assumption isn't, um, are you stubborn for good reason? It it's is just, just are you stubborn? But yeah. to, me, <laughs> to me, that's not stubbornness. That to it's me, intelligence. It's intelligence <laughs> and morals. I agree. <laughs> like, when am I ever the person in the group is like, no, I don't want to do that because I don't feel like it. I don't want to eat that because I don't feel like it. Not because you don't feel like it. It's never. There's always a reasoning. <laughs> yeah. No, guys. So, and the we reason can't is, fly is to Paris right re- now. The reason is usually no. The reason. <laughs> you fuck. Because I said the reason so. is usually Rachel, take the shot with me. No. Okay. Rachel. No, because no is no. Which is no is valid. No is no, but I don't want to say no. The reason. I'll be like, I'm not drinking right now. <laughs> and then you'll keep going. And I'll be like, no, I've just said no. Finally. It's like, Mind I don't want to be going hung means over. I ask one more time, usually a lot lighter. And I go, <laughs> take a shot. And you go, no. <laughs> and then go, okay. Okay. It's because. But every once in a while, over. I try asking a second time. Yeah. I know the rules. Yeah. I always have my reasonings for not taking totally. the shot. Totally. I agree. I agree. I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> you're like, I'm not poking this I bear. No, I agree with that. <laughs> okay. Everything you're saying is true. It is, it is true. Yeah. I, but when I, when I do make I my decision. I think being stubborn um, is a good thing. I do. Cause, I cause, only think if, if someone's just like, I don't feel like it and they're bringing the vibe of the group down. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. No, I totally get that. that that's being a that's stubborn, not stubborn. That's not stubborn. That's selfish. Good. Yes. That, see, there you it know? is. Yeah. I think stubborn and selfish are often mixed, and that's why I don't want to be related I love stubborn. to stubborn. I love a sassy woman, especially yes. like my, my sister's little niece. She's a little stubborn little girl. When she doesn't want, she, when she doesn't want to do something, she doesn't want to do it. Yeah. And I love that. <laughs> I love it. Don't do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. You follow your heart. Yes. All right. So before we start reading these, I think I'm just going to read them, and you can react to them. Great. And then I, Abby was going to do this with us, but she threw her back out and she's down for the count. Yeah. She hopped like a bunny yesterday. But don't worry. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Still so gorgeous. Still very gorgeous. <laughs> but she hopped like a bunny yesterday for Easter and she threw her back out. So she's chilling. Oh, she's yeah. Just I wasn't chilling. having none of that. No, I waddled. Every time, it, every time um, I can say T's name on here. Teeny. Oh, Teeny's. Yes, okay, Teeny's name. Teeny. Every time Teeny was like, Joy, aren't you a bunny? I would look at her and go, <laughs> and she'd be like you're fucking funny and I'd be like, I, I, would I was hopping I, I was hopped like, on that part I was like flipping under the bird every once in a while I was like I'm not a bunny I'm a bird bitch it's just these these titties weigh me down oh they you can't bounce with those one day I will get that um, boob job you gonna give me them yeah take from you put to me if I literally could do that I would take it I, and I'd take I would a little. go do that right now I think everyone in the group could just take a little I'd, from you and you'd be good oh yeah uh, yeah. Take it all. No, I don't want all of that. All. That's too much. <laughs> Just leave me like an A36 for good. You want an A36? I would be fine. That's what I am. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be fine. I got itty bitty titty. Totally fine. I got itty bitty titty. All right. Before. <laughs> 
Can I ask what size you are right now? They fluctuate depending on like, you know, the season, but. Oh, uh, yes. That's fine. As of right now, the last bra I got was like a, what was it? Double D 48, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not, we are quite a few letters away from each other. It's not fair. I think that if you, I could go up to a B and you could go down to a C. I'd go, I'd at least, I, at the most would like a B. Like if I had to go get a boob job and, cause usually I get told when you get a boob job, the doctor will kind of tell you get like a little bit bigger than what you're expecting mm-hmm. um, when you're not getting like stuff put in. Yeah. And so um, I'm like, no, a B, a B. And they're like, no, they're probably going to convince you to get maybe like a, a C. I'm like, yeah. no, you'd really have to convince me. Well, you, I think, I don't, I don't think you realize how different everything about you would change well, if you went down that drastically. Well, when I was in my fit era for like three years and I was going to the gym like three times a day. Oh my God, a goddess. I still have the bra. My bra literally size literally got down to like a B38. That's a good size. It was in, But they literally were like deflated water balloons. All my oh. weight was just gone. But- not a care in the world. I did not care. Put them in a bra there Cause, outside. Because you can wear a cute, cute bra from Victoria's yep. Secret that you don't have to take off. Yeah. And that's totally fine. All right. Do you think we could do that if they could p- take some from you and put it into me? I don't. I think the, you can only transfer it within your own body. That's I don't think rude. Can, Science. I know. You can. They Sharing can literally attach caring. arms and stuff, but you can't attach boobs. My, She's my got boobs plenty. On you. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? There are so many mask lesbians that have that si- that boob and they hate it. I'm not even capable of the reaction I want to give with that image. <laughs> just went through my. <laughs> don't I don't think Abby would ever leave my chest. <laughs> <laughs> I was just more so thinking of the uh, color. The color. Difference. Oh, I was thinking the size. I didn't think about. I was literally thinking mine the just skin tone. being put on you. That would look very strange. Yeah. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Let's check to see if we have a sponsor for today, and then we'll get into these assumptions. Sponsor, sponsor. Skims. Skims is our sponsor for today. I normally find bras to be so uncomfortable and constricting that they're the first thing I rip off my body when I get home for the day. But Skims has changed that. You know I love Skims underwear, so I finally had to try their bras, and Skims has delivered again. Skims bras are worth the hype for the amazing shape and support they give, but what I wasn't expecting is how comfortable they are and how much my girlfriend steals them from me. Even the underwire bras, I'm wearing them all day and I barely even notice them. Definitely not the first thing I take off when I get home anymore. And I especially love the Fits Everybody t-shirt bra from Skims. It's literally the best t-shirt bra I have ever owned. I wear it almost every day and I need it in more colors because it's the only bra I wear. The straps are adjustable and the Fits Everybody material is obviously the best for all day comfort. And my girlfriend very much loves the Fits Everybody push-up bra in Onyx. So if you guys want to try them out, I highly suggest you do. Shop Skims Bras at skims.com. Now available in 62 sizes. It goes from 30A to 46H. That's a lot. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. If you haven't yet, be sure to let them know that I sent you. After you place your order, select podcast in the survey and select my show in the drop down menu that follows. All right. Some of these were for Abby, as I was saying. So yes. I'm not going to read some of these because okay. I want her to respond to them. She said once her back feels better. She runs to do a podcast. Things just getting keep getting in the way. Totally. Um, someone said, I assume you don't like crime slash thriller movies or shows. The thing is, <laughs> hold on, let, let Joy speak. <laughs> she immediately was going to say something and I cut her off. I, 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 I thought this was going to be one of those things where first you just want me to go like true or false. Yes. Yes. You know what? Go true okay. or false. I don't. True. I, so the thing is, <laughs> I don't like thriller or horror, but I like crime. Okay. But I'm not allowed to watch it because then I'll get um, bad dreams. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm, Abby is, I'm not allowed to. I like it all. Y- you are, you and Dylan's Abby are very, the same. Dylan's like very yeah, disturbed by how much I like it. You are, I don't get I want, it. It's, I guess I can't even say that I don't like it. You, you want to know what it is? What? I do. I feel like, especially crime stuff, because I've always been very interested in crime stuff. I feel like it's a sense of preparation. Like I, I need to be aware of what is possible mm. out there in the world 
And then hearing how like either people have survived a situation or almost didn't survive a situation and what worked for them, it makes me feel prepared. Okay. Yeah. I feel that. Because I've just, yeah. I mean, Abby has had me listen to weird podcasts where they're saying stuff. And I know that if you're in a car and you drive into an electrical pole and the wires are spewing about, don't get out of your car. Exactly. I did learn that from a podcast. Exactly. The random things I that you really learn hope I never someone. have to learn that. Yeah, the, do that. The random things you learn from some of them are very interesting. All right. Well, we've gotten one assumption down. Mm -hmm. Cigarette and lighter said you had to convince your ex boyfriend not to vote for Trump. Do you think that's true or false? Mm. I think it's false just because I don't think he even cared about voting. He was actually extremely liberal, which really? was kind. Like I am very thankful for we did share those beliefs oh wow which you would look at him and you wouldn't think that yeah and like was he, his were his parents or family his family was conservative but oh, i don't know who they voted for okay, okay um but he we no we were both very democratic liberal wow um monica's assumption is that i always have nice breath i guess yeah because i've never noticed you not having nice breath i love having fresh breath the only time i don't is in the mornings i dr i brush my teeth obviously right when i wake up but uh i'll have coffee breath because i drink mm. coffee but then yeah once abby gets out of bed i go brush my teeth again so that i have don't fresh have breath again breath. Yeah. i always have like tic tacs with me yeah well you have really nice teeth too thank you you're welcome i value my teeth and i like to smell good yes i very much like to smell good you i do. always shower i always make sure i'm reapplying deodorant perfume make my breath smell good i never want to smell gross yeah you never do Thank you. Yeah. That is an effort. You're like always showering too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's an effort I take. <laughs> so, so that you're secretly engaged to Abby. That's false. You, the way you answered that is going to go make so many people question it. <laughs> yeah, that's false. That's false. That's false. Yeah. Um, people get headaches around you because you talk so loud. Screaming. <laughs> I'm <not> <laughs> Joy whispers the word screaming. <laughs> I've never had a headache around you because you're talking too loud. Uh, I can talk loud, but I've got, as I've aged, I have learned to pick up on cues and when I'm hurting people's ears. Usually when you're screaming, people will wince or like kind of start like straying. Their heads will start getting farther from you or they're like, they'll or start people talking are slowly quieter. leaving the room. Yeah. Or they'll start talking quieter to give you the hint. Mm. I've picked up on or that. Or they're just going like, oh, uh-huh. Like, uh -huh. they're just, like, starting to check out of the conversation. You're like, oh, and I got to change my tone. Yeah, right. I'll notice Abby's eyes will kind of get big. <laughs> yeah, when you emphasize something, I've seen that. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I, it's really funny. When, like, she'll try and show me, like, physically that I'm being too loud. And then when I take it down, I go, oh, okay. And I'll start talking <laughs> softer. And then she just got to giggle. Yeah, like, when she goes, what are you saying to me? <laughs> It's so funny. But it's probably not as big of a problem as they are assuming it is. You know, like you being excited and loud. Like everyone oh, yeah. is excited and loud oh, in yeah. for the most part. I, I think I used to be a lot louder than I am now. Yeah. When Abby and I first started dating. You've done a lot of growing. I have. From when we even first met. Yes, I have. It's crazy to look back on some of the videos and TikToks. I was looking back on them with And she was like... um. Oh my God, it's crazy. Like how much younger she looks like. So, and that was only a few years ago. And I'm like, yeah. I know. I'm a, so I'm a changed. very different person. I have wrinkles now. Thank you. <laughs> no, as far as like just your style and like, yeah. you don't wear glasses anymore. Like yeah. you just look I grown look very up. different. I do. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I've put a lot of work into myself. Yeah. I used to scream when Abby and I first started dating, she'd be like, you're, you're yelling. <laughs> and now she, I, I haven't heard her say that in a very long time. Or she, and then for a while I was like, don't say anything. Just like grab my thigh. Yeah. And so th there was like a year of grabbing my thigh. And then now I'm like, hmm, I haven't gotten a thigh grab. A little thigh grab in a while. So <laughs> nap, 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 nap. That's funny. Um, someone says, their assumption is I'm very clean, but I have piles of stuff to quote unquote put away. <laughs> I know this is true. <laughs> it's true. My but, I, but it's not like piles. It's like small little grouped up 
organize things. You might have a little something on on the table. <laughs> My and dining maybe, room table. Yeah, and then maybe a little something maybe by the front door. Yes, I do. The dining room table, because the garage just attached from the house. I was going to say, house, this area doesn't count. No, this, my <laughs> office doesn't count as anything. This is, I don't even know what zone this is. But in the house. The place is, hey, it's my apartment. It's, it's places in my apartment. This is bachelor pad. This is where we live. <laughs> um, no, the house inside is a group area. Yes. So I make sure that I don't have messes. But because the house is detached from the garage, if it's nighttime or it's raining or I'm a little cold and things need to go into the garage and I don't want to make that six feet step outside to come into the garage. I put things on the dining room table totally. that's next to the backyard, that's to the back door. Totally. So the dining room table will sometimes just get filled with things. And I, I test a lot of products. So sometimes it's just like a lot of products where I'm like, I don't even know where that goes. Yeah. Like there's stuff I don't want to keep or like I'm going to give to someone. And then eventually or, I come over and I go through it and go, hey, can I have take this? take half of it. <laughs> so <laughs> I do, that is very, I am very clean. In group areas. You just have, then, sometimes have small little things. Yeah. Like we have a little bench at the edge of the bed. That, that's where a lot of like clothes go. Yeah. And then anything I need to take to the garage goes on the dining table. And then by the front door, it's like mail boxes I have to break down. Yeah, yeah, little yeah. Little things here and there. But, but it all gets done. It all gets done. That's the main point. Yes. <laughs> um, someone's assumption is that I'm never serious. No. I you can serious. be serious. I can get serious. Yeah. It's not my go-to. No, but you can be serious. Yeah. I don't like doing it. Mm-mm. It's not fun. But she looks good doing it. You like it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can get serious. I've seen you serious a few times. Yeah. It's kind of scary. There's times where you need you need to do it. I need to do it. It's not fun. No. You got to put your foot down sometimes in life. But I think... Um, that's the right way to do it where you're the majority of the time fun and the, and that's why when I am serious, people, people are like, you oh, serious. okay, this yeah. is not time to mess around. Exactly. And that's, and I think that when I cry, I have more power when I cry because I never actually cry. Yes. So if I get serious or I cry, people are like, oh, totally listen up. I agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like when it's my friends, something. when my friends get out of hand, I very rarely step in, and but when I do, everyone's like, oh, okay, we're sorry, we're done. Yeah. We won't do it anymore. So totally. <laughs> That's why people turn to you when they need to get shit done. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I guess, because I'll get it done. Yeah. All right. Uh, someone else said that you're really good at giving hugs. Yes. I think I am. Yeah. I think that's a flex of mine. Yeah, I would say yes. Yes. I like giving hugs. I like, I go, yes. <laughs> sometimes I go to Abby and I go, can I have a standing cuddle? <laughs> Oh, have a hug. I want a standing hug. cuddle. Oh, I love that. It's an I've rebranded it. <laughs> Someone said I assume that you had a pet spider and snake. I that's pers- a no. I I did not. My brother did. Yeah, no, absolutely not. No, I don't want that. Mm-mm. A joy <laughs> saw me. We, we couldn't be friends if you had a pet spider. No, or I couldn't come Tarantulas? over. I couldn't watch your animals. No spiders, absolutely not. That no. thing. I'm sorry to people who have spiders. The thing would die in my presence. That's why I would have to tell you I can't do it. Do you have you seen lately? People have just started noticing or not noticing, or this has come to you know how the internet all learns something at the same time. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Have you seen the thing about the cranberry fields? How they harvest cranberries. Mm-mm. So as a natural pesticide, these cranberry fields worker people will use wolf spiders to be a natural pesticide for the cranberry fields. And then to get the cranberries, they flood the fields and all the cranberries come to the top. You know, like the ocean spray Oh, I've seen this. And they're just like throwing the, sp- the spiders are calling up them. And st- yeah. I've, see- I've seen this. So oh my the God. cranberry field worker people have to, oh my God, plays with the farting, um, have to no. go out into these flooded fields with those like that. long overalls and- it's a really dangerous job and painful job because these wolf spiders are just trying to climb them and bite them the whole time. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You'd think they'd make a machine for this by Absolutely now. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. No. I, what was it? Maybe three years ago, I went to Lake Arrowhead with my um, mom and like two older sisters and their kids and stuff. And my mom needed her medicine that was in the car. So I walked outside the cabin. It was like at night. Walked outside the cabin to go get the medicine out of the car. Mm-hmm. Came back. Something in my head just said, like, turn your light on to, like, I, I you, know, you know, I think what it was is it was dark, so I couldn't really see. So okay. I turned the light on on my flash 
on my camera and there were wolf spiders <gasps> all over the door. And I was just FaceTiming my mom to come open the door from the other side. And <laughs> I literally had like a video that I'd sent to her th via text message where I'm like crying and I'm like, mom, I need you to come open the door. Like, no, it, it was like something out of Harry Potter. It was in, it was insane. That's disgusting. There, were, there was a couple by the handle. There was a few about like, they were huge spiders. I think just looking for warmth or some, it was, yeah, that is foul. I can't, I can't do spiders. I can't. My sister for a video one time made me hold a tarantula. I can't, I can't even do that. It was like a face your fears thing. Mm -mm. And I did, I did it. Mm -mm. But uh, uh, mm -mm. no, thank you. I can't. Abby called me the other day. Screaming. She's the spider person in our relationship. When there's a spider, she handles it. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. But she got traumatized. She called me like hyperventilating. She's like, babe, there's a spider. I was 15 minutes away from home. She's telling me there's a spider. I've never heard her like this. I have never in my life heard her like this. And I was like, oh my God. And I just knew I wasn't gonna be like, babe, you're not scared of spiders. What are you talking about? Because I was like, if she is scared of it. It's gotta be bad. That is huge. I coached her through. I was on the phone with her for like five minutes. And I was like, I will be home soon if you just want to wait. And she's like, bro, I don't want it to like run under something. I don't want to lose it. So, of course, the cat just walks over and starts batting it, but doesn't actually kill it. Oh, my it. gosh. Stevie. It's freaking Stevie. So, finally, she, I was like, grab a shoe and just you have to smack, smack it. And I was like, you can't like throw something at it. You can't smush it with a tissue. You have to grab a shoe and smack it. So, she did. And she... Like she had thrown all the dogs out of the house uh -uh. because she didn't want them anywhere near it. Yeah, so yeah. the cat, she's like, get that. That's your job. The cat's and like, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> this is boring. Watch and this. <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> so I came home. She had put a, a tissue over it and then put my shoe on top of that so she didn't have to see it. And so I lifted it up. That thing was so big. No. It was huge. Huge. Don't tell me that. And she was like, I was just sitting on the couch and I saw it out of the corner of my eye. And she sent me a video of it. I, I'm like, that is half the size of a tarantula. Like, how is that in my house? <gasps> Some of the spiders that you find in houses closer to the beach is oh, ridiculous. Absolutely foul. The like, tarantulas are up here. Oh, yeah. 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 We have like, we, we live um, where there's a... We're butted up against a hill. Yeah, exactly. Like, we don't ever realize it because we never look up there. Mm -hmm. But we're up, up, up against, like, no. no, I'm in a fire zone. No. That's where the tarantulas live. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, like the house I dog sat at in Malibu. Every time I woke up in the morning, there were tarantulas in all the water bowls. No. Like little baby tarantulas. The scary part is you just never, they're so big, but you don't see them coming. It's like, where are you coming from? It's so gross. It's absolutely awful. <sighs> so, no. I never had a pet spider or snake. Joy I a have snake. a snake. And I had to capture it I did it hold a, a, a little like, or a bigger jumping spider at like a reptile expo. But that just like, those don't bother me. I think no, I've seen enough me. videos where that doesn't bother me. But anything beyond that bothers me. Nope. They all bother me. What are you doing? Why do you have so many legs? Yeah. You don't need that many legs. The way they move and stuff. Oh, mm -mm. just the big, but the bigger ones are just that like, no, I can't. Okay. Blech. Sorry. For anyone I, who has I don't, even think I, could, I don't sorry. even think I could do it for money. I don't. I truly don't think oh, I could. There's a lot I could do for money. Like I'll do if, everything but take my clothes off or I, do illegal drugs. I saw for money. this video of, I don't know who it was, but I saw this video of somebody pranking their friend where they brought out their pet tarantula and their friend was asleep and they put it on them. And the person woke up and was just like frozen in fear, like freaking out while this thing's crawling on them. I, I could never be friends with that person again. That is so messed up to me. I hate that. So the amount of fear I had just watching that video, I couldn't imagine. When being I did in the that. fear video, I consented. Yeah, like that was my choice. But if someone for a video just put a tarantula like, on me, like, oh, god, no, <laughs> I would die. This, I don't like pranks. I don't do pranks. No. It's April Fools' right now. No one is going to prank <laughs> me, and I will not prank anyone Never. else. Never. That especially is not a especially with someone's biggest fear. That's just cruel. It's just mean. Pranks are like it's funny. So yeah. Causing someone else emotional or physical pain is not funny. Yeah. That's not funny to I me. I agree. <sighs> Next assumption. You are quite relaxed yet fun when going out. How, yeah. How am I when I go out? I mean, you can be real. I think you are good at being whatever you, the moment calls for. Yeah. You know, I think that's why you're the go-to person. If somebody needs somebody to like get everyone's attention and like listen, like you can do that. If we need to like rally and get everyone to a certain area. We can do that. You do yeah. that. You know, you're like, 
I'm a coordinator of people. Yeah. I'm a herder. Yeah, you're a herder. I'm a herder. Yeah, I, I definitely have fun when I go out. For sure. I, I am on that dance floor the whole time. Mm-hmm. Especially when you go out, like you're always fun, especially though when you're going out and you're like, okay, t- I'm letting loose tonight. It's, yeah. Tonight's the night to just. But go one of out. our friends looked at me and she goes, I've never seen you blacked out. I was like, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, not- I don't do that. I don't understand. I can't understand that being the goal. No. No. I don't want to. I want to remember not, it's my It's not evening. fun. If I drink alcohol, it's just so that I can loosen up a little bit. Right. And then so my knees don't hurt when I'm dancing. I try so hard. To hit that point where I'm like drinking throughout the night where I go, anything past this is going to be a problem. This is where I stop. No, I don't want to feel crappy. You don't feel sick. Yeah, I don't no. want to feel sick. I don't want to feel I crappy. I want it to be wearing off within an hour to 30 minutes of everyone starting to get ready to go home. Oh, yeah. Like, By the time I get home, I want to be almost sober, mm-hmm. eat my Taco Bell and go to sleep. Yeah. Like, I don't want to wake up in the... I don't want to go to sleep feeling sick. I don't want to wake up feeling yeah. sick. I'm the just, only time I continue raging is like, if I'm spending the night at your house and tomorrow there's a high chance that we're going to do this all over again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then yeah. I can keep going, but that's still not very often. Yeah, no, I have a lot of fun going out, but yeah, no, I'm not the, I'm not the person that's like running away, getting into fights, no. starting stuff. You're not problematic. Like, no, I'm not problematic at all. I'm the one taking care of the problematic You don't even, people. when you start to drink, it's not like you even like have this alter ego or start getting feisty or like you don't you yeah. just literally remain the same yeah I, that's I if am anything the same you become like almost a little more careful like <laughs> yeah i do well because i have there's so many girls with us and we have to be careful we're out so i'll buy you a drink but i'll make sure it won't get spiked yeah right exactly <laughs> that's just who i am all right before we move on i have to change the battery so let's check to see if we have another sponsor for today sponsor sponsor uh. home chef home chef is our sponsor for today You know, I'm not the biggest cook, and that's why I love meal kits. Being able to feast on delicious meals without long prep and cook times, and that is why I'm shouting out Home Chef. Home Chef's meals are effortless, even for someone like me who isn't making it on Top Chef anytime soon. Home Chef provides fresh ingredients and chef-designed recipes conveniently delivered to your doorstep to simplify your cooking experience. Whether you prefer classic meal kits with pre-portioned ingredients and easy instructions, speedy recipes, ready in less than 30 minutes, oven-ready kits with pre-chopped ingredients, or quick microwave meals that assemble in minutes, Home Chef has you and the entire family covered for delicious meals without the hassle. There's over 30 options a week and serves a variety of dietary needs. And you know I'm picky, and I think that they're great. Not only is it convenient, but it's economical too. Home Chef customers save an average of $86 per month on groceries. For a limited time, Home Chef is offering my listeners 18 free meals, plus free shipping on your first box and free dessert for life at homechef.com slash Rachel. That's homechef dot com slash Rachel for 18 free meals and free dessert for life. Homechef.com slash Rachel. You must be an active subscriber to receive the free dessert. And we're back. Here we are. Oh no, I just pulled my microphone out of its stand. Eh. Eh. I'm high. Also readjusting. Okay. Are you good? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> this is the next one. You faked orgasms when you were with men. Yes. Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. (laughs) Who um, doesn't? Yeah. Sorry. 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 There's no easier way to make it end. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, people are like, don't fake it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, if you're with someone. Sometimes the moment calls for it. Yeah. Like if you're, don't. One, you shouldn't. We shouldn't have to. No one, no human being should have to fake an orgasm. Absolutely. Okay? I understand that sometimes women, they love their boyfriends so much, but it's just not happening. Or sometimes it's just somebody you're like, it's the first time you may, may be talking to, yeah. to them for a while and it's just not what you thought it was going to be. But you don't want to make them feel bad. Exactly. Like there's, it's like they're not doing there's times wrong. where it calls for it, but there's obviously times where it calls for you to be like, uh, no. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Right. But sometimes you're like, it's not them. Sometimes you just don't want to. You're just not feeling it. But right. like, you're like, I, this is like, I'm not, let's just have Or sometimes it is somebody that you're with and you're like, you know what? This, tonight is just going to be more for you. Yeah. 
Good night. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, I faked a lot of orgasms. In yeah. my life. <laughs> anyway, next question. You're kind of bossy in real life. Mm. I wanted to get your opinion on this because with Abby, we all know I'm not bossy in the slightest. I am not stubborn and I'm not bossy with Abby. No. When Emily worked for me, I was her literal boss. So I was bossy in the fact that I told her what to do for a job. And she would say I was bossy. Yeah, because you were her boss. Because I was her boss. But you are just my bestie, who I love. I think you can be bossy. Mm -hmm. You won't offend me. I'm trying to think. You won't offend me because also this could be a learning opportunity, no, a growing opportunity for me. I've never, I've, I personally have never been offended by anything, but I think you can be bossy. But again, I'm thinking of it more in areas where um, I'm like hurting you, the group. Yeah, you've needed to be bossy. <laughs> where I'm like, hey, no, we're not going over there. Yeah. Come on. Like, I think you're really good about, I, I mean, a lot of the things you am, do oh, are validated. Am yeah. I in charge or am I bossy? That's the thing. Is if, if it was like a man, would you consider him bossy? Um, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, yeah. Cause I okay. think being in charge and being bossy are the same thing in my mind. Okay. So for me, the word bossy seems like a negative. negative. Oh no. Bossy to me seems like <laughs> I'm bossy. I don't know what I hate. <laughs> okay. But like, um, like sassy, sassy, okay, bossy, okay, okay, okay. sassy, kind of like, Hey, you got to do this, this and this, but <laughs> love you. You know, yeah, that is me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a, I think that's why also we're thinking of it in different ways because our perception of the word is different. I think that's a big thing for a lot of people is it, it, it depends on how words you matter feel. to me. Now, if you use the words like you come off as like a micromanager to me or you come off yeah. as like being like petty, like those kind of things. Or people have to do it your way. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm those. No. But I do agree that. I will take charge. Like, hey, everyone, the Ubers are outside. Let's go. Come yeah, on. For sure. You have and like yeah. we're ordering Taco Bell. Here's my phone. Order your food. You order your food. Yeah. Cause I my Or like what, you know, when Dylan's like ordering his food and then he gets to talking to somebody and you're like, hey, finish. Did you finish. We're all hungry. Yeah, exactly. I don't mind taking on that role. Yeah. It's bossy, but it's it's needed it. It's you know? yeah, it's not like a You're not being rude. No, and I'm not doing it for like my benefit. Yeah. It's always for the the group thing. Yeah. Where I'm like I'm not I can't like, think hey, of a moment where it's go just get me been, a glass of water. I can't think of a moment where it's just been us and I'm like, wow, you're being really bossy to me. Yeah, I would never like just tell you to go do something for me. No. But I'll tell you. If like, anything, hey. you're always like, hey, there's this thing and you don't have to, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, are you able to do a podcast, please? If you can't, yeah, please yeah, don't. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I might leave it this time. You're like, I, oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to make it obvious that I just yeah. really wasn't expecting that in the I schedule. I wanted you to be here longer. <laughs> yeah. So I would say I'm, I'm, I'm bossy in the I take charge sense, yeah. not in the selfish, lazy, I want you, everyone to do princess yeah. thing sense. I agree. Okay. All right. Um, someone said, you only truly relax when you're sick. You don't even relax when you're sick. <laughs> So false. So false. <laughs> Jokes you, on you. You barely relax when you're asleep. <laughs> I saw the other day you were asleep and I saw your fingers going like this, like you were typing. I was typing. <laughs> I got work to do, okay? Uh, oh, man. Relax. Uh, when you're old, you're going to have the mask, short, lesbian haircut. No. No. I'm, I'm, I, I, no diss to anyone who has that. Correct. Will not allow you to become Thank that. You. Thank <laughs> you. You need your long hair. I, I actually very much enjoy having long hair. I like having a little bit of a femme side. Like, I like more of an androgynous. Yeah. I wouldn't say I mask, and I'm definitely not femme. I like the chapstick, androgynous, yeah. athletic middle ground. And I think my hair keeps me there. Yeah. If you cut if your hair short when I you're old, I'm calling you Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Shout out to all the Barbaras out there. Right. Like um, from Shark Tank. Isn't that her name? Barbara, yeah. I almost said Barbara Streisand. <laughs> I, I, why did that name come to my head too? No, but like the short haircut definitely works. There's some masked lesbians. For sure. When they get their haircut, I'm like, that was the goddamn just move Just not for letting you. you become one of them. I'm just not that because you know I like to have a femme side. Yeah. I like, uh, I have like tiny little things about me that yeah. I keep me femme. Keep it long. Keep it long. I like my hair long. You will um, always, yeah, yeah. It's a part it of me. And I, I'm not one that like, there's so many lesbians that just always keep it up in like a bun and well, it's like they don't know what they're doing with it. I'm like, they're just holding on to it 
but they don't like their hair. Right. Well, when was the last time you even had it short? Um, junior year of college, I got it a bob. Oh. And you and you just been growing it since then? What year was that? Um, I want to say 2010, 2011. Okay. But like I I grow I, my hair grows so quick. Yeah. So the if I did have a short haircut, I have to get my hair cut once a week. Mm. That's the thing about getting short hair too is you have whatever style works for you, like your face and everything, you have to keep it there because once it starts growing yeah. and it was so annoying to grow it's out. So, I will never. The cutting my hair those few years ago when I did, I just no. never got it to this day every day. My, my hair has been long for many a year since. Yes. Next uh, assumption. Someone said, you do not like birds. That's true. That's false. I don't. you won't let me have one and keep it at your yeah, house. Yeah, because I think it's stupid Capture a bird. A bird means to needs to fly. So what I'm hearing is hate, 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 hate. I hate, hate when people capture birds and don't let them live to their full. I love birds so much. I hate seeing them in captivity. You birds have never once expressed it in that way. Well, I didn't think you I had to. I didn't no, think. No, I, I, no, you just think I was being they're stubborn. They're loud and they're gross and they poop everywhere. I literally have never said these words to you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if maybe I'm being stubborn, I have a reason. Yeah, it was Dylan, not me. Or Abby, maybe. Yeah. She loves birds, too. She's oh, a, she does. She's a birdie. No, yeah. You, no, you like birds. You just like don't birds. want one in your house. I don't want to cap. I don't. What's the point? I, that and fish. What is the point of that? Cats and dogs, they, they do things with you. They cuddle. They like dogs protect. You can bond with birds. birds. It's just the really expensive ones that you have to put in your will because they yeah, live I don't, forever. No. I don't like that much responsibility. Yeah. I love birds. Animals is for a phase of my life. <laughs> like, each, each dog I get, each cat I get, it's for, like in a phase. Blaze is like, oh, God, he keeps farting. <laughs> Blaze was for my early adulthood. Right. Miso's going to go with me to my, my golden years. Right. <laughs> okay? But then after that, we'll see what happens. But, like, a bird that lives 70 years? Yeah. No. You'd have to get one that's, like, 30 years already. Yeah. That's not happening. Yeah. That's not happening. You know, you like them. You just don't want to own one. Yeah. Like, I think they're cool. Yeah. I like them. Parrots kind of freak me out that they can talk, but that's fine. I think they're awesome. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need you to be truthful with this one. Oh, no. You can be a bit of a narcissist. Sorry, no shade. Love you so much. Do I give narcissistic traits? Do me a favor and read the definition of a narcissist to me. Just oh, to make please. Because sure I do believe you are correct that the term of narcissist. I mean, my, and my idea of a narcissist is somebody who's not capable of feeling empathy or being empathetic. A person. Okay, hold on a second. A narcissist. A person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves. I am cocky. Narcissists who think the world revolves around them. So do I think the world does or should revolve around me? I don't think so because I feel like you're very willing to like sw- cater to others. Yeah. Okay. All right. Should we look up the five signs to help you yes, spot a narcissist? Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Because I can't like. I mean. Oh, there's types of narcissism. Yes. It's like covert narcissist. Yeah. Vulnerable narcissism. Okay. Let's. Narciss- uh, still little. being studied and explored. They say. Okay. So people with a sense of entitlement. Okay. That, that they are superior to others and deserve special treatment. Okay. They have a manipulative behavior. So uh, they're con- manipulative or controlling. Do you feel like you're that way? Um, Do you feel like you're superior to people? No. When I'm out in public, I am the general public. I believe But when that. you're at home, you're like, I'm but better I'm, than everyone. I'm still not. <laughs> I'm still not top dog in my own home, okay? Is there one that has a symptom for, like, top dog in home but not outside of home? I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not the top dog in my home. My That's cat is. That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> I don't think so. I think the um, fact that you're even questioning it <laughs> proves well, that you're yeah, not, right. you know? The manipulative behavior, though, I know that I could – I know how to manipulate people, but I purposely don't because I think it's fucked up. Okay. But – and then I have need for admiration. I do have a little bit of that. I see the hard part is, is that some of these, some of these qualities are okay when you don't yeah. ha- add them in with all the other things yeah. that come with being a narcissist. A lack of empathy. So 
I don't, I, I think I empathize. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what the difference between empathy and sympathy is? You told me once and I forgot. Um, Do you remember? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> so, so sympathize, sympathize is when, if you say, if like I were to say like, oh, I'm so upset because I failed this test the other day. And your like immediate response is kind of like, oh my God, like I failed a test once. It's like you're, sim- you're sympathizing with me because you've been through that before. Oh, okay. Empathize is when you can feel for that person in their situation, like, even oh, though you've so never been you. through like, oh my, uh, my mom, like that must know, she, she passed away from cancer. And you're like, oh, I can't even imagine how that would be because you haven't had that experience. Oh, but- I do both of those things. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Hopefully I'm right, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Arrogance. So people with narcissism already see themselves as superior to others. So they may be rude or abusive when they don't receive the treatment they think are there, they deserve. I don't think I've ever seen you be abusive. No. Okay. And ever. then how to deal with a narcissist. Okay. Uh, I think I'm cocky. And I, but only because it's funny. I was going to say, I think you're cocky for fun. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I don't, I don't think you're actually like. Like a dick cocky. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm attractive. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's great. That's, co- that's confidence. But, yeah. I'm okay. trying to think like a cocky, like if you were to walk out and, and Abby's like, oh my gosh, baby, you look so good today. And you're just like, I look, duh, I look good every day. <laughs> no, I, oh my God. And you just have like Did a genuine so? <laughs> like attitude about it. <laughs> oh, but instead no. you're like, oh, I get all giddy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'd say no. If I ever seem narcissistic, but maybe it can come across that way to some viewers on your videos because I feel like you're you're very confident in your in your videos. Yeah, well, I'm alone in my home and I can edit me. No, 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 it's a good thing. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, someone said they assume I don't have much social anxiety. I don't. No, no. You're pretty. I feel sometimes some situations are awkward. Yeah. If I want to hold a conversation with a person, I can. I rarely want to hold a conversation with someone so a situation might get <laughs> awkward because i'm like i literally yeah don't want to bring forth the effort to talk yeah no you don't have social anxiety no i can go you're out and be good. fine yeah yeah and you're comfortable saying and doing nothing at all or like being completely involved yes <laughs> yeah um someone says you give zero fucks you give some fuck i give some depending it, on the situation yeah out of out of 100 maybe like 30 20 yeah that's a good number yeah 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 I was going to say 12. Your septum <laughs> piercing smells cheesy. No. Only you can answer that. I don't. I, I mean, I just like you have real jewelry like me. So my yeah. real jewelry never has like a. I used to have fake jewelry and my jewelry had never has a scent to it. My None of my jewelry gets like crusty or dirty or yeah, gross. Especially because it's constantly being washed. So. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. I don't think it smells cheesy. Not Abby would say something. Um, you were a player before your girlfriend. Screaming. Do they know you? <laughs> no. So I have to remember that people sometimes only see me on one platform. Oh, I guess. So there's people that follow me just on Instagram. Yeah. And don't watch any of my stuff. I Y'all, didn't even think about that. I'm the least player on the planet. <laughs> I, I'm a serial monogamous. The only player in her is, uh, when she's doing sports. And even then I'm like, hey, this is fun, right guys? Let's play. <laughs> yeah. No, I was in a committed relationship for seven years. And then once that ended, I gave myself a break and didn't date anyone because it was also during COVID. Right. And I waited for my therapist to give me the green light to start dating. And she pushed me to do it. And then I got on a dating site and I was on there for all of three days and then met Abigail. And And then here we are. And then that's it. So honest, I didn't have time. I've never gone to a bar to try to pick someone up. No. I haven't gone on multiple first dates. Really like flirt with somebody in, in person and just be like, hey, how do I get the person across the room to come talk to I've me? I've never done a one night stand. Yeah. I'm, I did. And my, Abby was like, are you sure? Like when we started like seriously dating, like yeah. right before we seriously dated, she's like, are you sure you don't need a, a hoe phase, a slut yeah. phase? Like, are you sure you don't need that to get that out of your system? Cause yeah, I don't want to get out what you want. Yeah. She's like, I don't want to get years deep with you. And you're like, shit, I never got to go explore. I'm like, yeah, I don't have that desire. Yeah. You're I like, have no desire to do that. If only you saw the last eight years of my life. It's like, I am so happy to just have a, pre- um, I, I have a hot girlfriend. Right. I win. I win. I win. Like, I don't, <laughs> that's what you go dating for. Right. Is to find, You're I like, don't know. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I, no. So I'm good. I'm good. 
And then I will end on this one. Okay. You wear outdoor shoes in your house. No, you guys do pretty good, right? About I always keep my shoes on. Abby, oh, you are always walking through. Abby gets home, immediately puts her comfies on and her slippers. Yeah, I will stay in my street clothes and wear my shoes. Man, there's there's some days where I, I just I, it's a long day. I have to just make dinner, get through the rest of the day before I really get to change. But for the majority of the time, I come home and I'm like grabbing comfy clothes to the bathroom. Got to take my end of the day pee. And bef- end of the day pee. And by the time I'm done peeing, all my clothes are off, and I'm getting in my like comfy clothes. Man, I it takes a it lot was a for struggle me to for get me it. to tell that story. Just it was so you're okay. It's the end of the podcast. <gasps> we're tired. I have so many more assumptions, but that's all the time we're gonna have for today. That was great. I will have Abby read the other ones. Um, there are some that have to do with things only Abby would know. Yes. So mm-hmm. you wish that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> well. When I watch the podcast, I'll know. Oh, you already know everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Please subscribe. Please follow. Please watch old episodes if you haven't. It helps me out. Uh, follow Joy on Instagram. Woo. Uh, follow me everywhere. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Rachel Uncensored, the only place on the internet where you can find the uncensored version of me, Rachel Ballinger. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, or follow, or do whatever this platform tells you to do so that you can get notified every time I post a new episode. Love ya!